Hello there and welcome to my channel. My name is Doug and I'm back with another fountain pen video. Uh, welcome to my workshop, my pen workshop. I recently did a review of the Jinhao 51A and I have two of them. Uh, my review was on this one. This is the one I inked up. And it has a replaceable number five Jinhao nib. And I mentioned that this style of open nib pen makes it easier to swap nibs. Well, one of my uh, viewers, I think it was Adriel, uh, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, asked whether I might do a, a swap on this, uh, do a nib swap on this pen. So I thought, what the H-E double hockey sticks. Let's give it a try. So this is the Niango or gray version of the pen. And it has the Let's take these parts off here, take the barrel off, the converter off, and it has a number five fine Jinhao. Let's get a look at that. Jinhao nib. I've not inked this one up, uh, but the other one wrote just fine. So I wasn't planning on switching out the nibs, but Let's do it, because ink inquiring minds want to know. Inquiring minds want to know. I want to know. So, let's get at it. The nib and feed are part of a collar that unscrews from the section. Just this quick and easy, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing up my sleeve. Again? Nothing up my sleeve. Presto! Who <laughs> don't know my own strength. Presto. I use a little bit of this rubber matting material to protect the nib when I'm pulling on it, and I hold it by the shoulders here. Uh, not like this, because you might uh, crush that feed. Especially with Pen BBS, they seem to be fairly fine and brittle. So I'm going to wrap the rubber around this. Now you can do this with an elastic band as well, like this. And they come in handy. It gives you something to grip with. And then just give it a pull. Now, this particular nib and feed really don't need that because it just pulls out just easy. Really, really easy. Some of these don't, but this one does. So take that nib off the feed and put the feed and the collar down. And we're going to look at some other number five nibs. Now this is a number five nib that was on a Moonman M2. It's an extra fine. It says Iridium Point extra fine. It's not branded Moonman, uh, but uh, I don't like extra fine, so I actually took this out and replaced it with a. Um, I had a number of different stubs that I put into my M2s. Here's one. But let's take that nib out of there. I only had it sitting in there lightly because they're hell to get out. Sorry, they're HE double hockey sticks to get out. But let's compare that generic Iridium Point EF Moonman M2 nib to this Jinhao nib. Well, they are practically identical. In every fashion, they are identical. Now, I don't want to put an EF on this pen, and I don't want to put a gold one on it. But I just wanted to show that the M2 nibs uh, will fit these Jinhaos as well. Apparently, the M the uh, Jinhao 992 uh, carries this same nib, and there's a number of Jinhaos out there with that same sort of generic number five nib. Uh, so you can replace that. The good thing about the Moon Man. M2 is that there are places you can get all kinds of different sizes. Um, I've got a, one, a 0 0.7 stub, a 1.1 stub, a 1.5 stub, all in number five that I got for my, um, my Moonman M2s. So if they are identical to this, then you can use them in these Jinhao 51As. The um, nib I want to look at here is one that I got as an extra. It's a medium, which is more up my street. Um, and this is a Delike. 
Uh, it came uh, as an extra with a Delike New Moon. I don't like the pen, but uh, I like, quite like the nib. So I'm going to pull this out of here. And this one might need the rubber tip. Need a little bit more pulling power, so it rubber on both sides. There we go. Now the collars themselves have different threads. All of these have different style threads. And we can see this Jinhao branded collar here has a completely different threading system. So we're going to use the original Jinhao collar, the original Jinhao feed, and the Delike nib. So I'm going to put that nib on the feed. Let me get a little closer here. And I like to line up the feed, those little shoulders of that feed with where the swoop of the nib intersects. So about like that. I'm just going to hold it like this gently to hold that together. And then these little collars have a little crescent on them and they sort of only fit in one way. And I sort of roll it around until I find that sweet spot. There, there, it slips right in. And generally, if you, again, use this to push on it, and you're going to push on the shoulders right there and right there. Make sure that feed is all the way in there so that it comes out through the tail of the section right there. And then we're going to check to make sure that the shoulders are lined up so that it's it's got uh, that slit is right in line with the center of the feed and those shoulders of that feed is, are in line with the intersection of those curved sides. I'm also going to just double check while I'm here. I don't know whether this is going to work or not. Probably not. I'll use my loop to take a look at this, but we're, my iPhone 7 has a much better lens system than my eyeball does. I'm just going to check to make sure those tines are lined up, that they don't need any tweaking. Make sure that they aren't misaligned. If they are misaligned a little bit, I'll give them a little bit of a push. That's where my really gross and disgusting guitar thumbnail here comes in very very handy if that really grosses you out you may leave the room don't go in jen this won't do any good it's the most horrible thing i've ever seen in my life this video has an f rating for fingernails and that looks pretty good seated in there very nicely now we're going to screw it back into the section put the converter back on and quick as you can say Jack Robinson we're ready to go with a new nib now I'm going to ink it up and we'll give it a try okay what color to match with my gray Niangao style acrylic on this pen. I'm thinking that Robert Oster Muddy Swamp looks like this. Might be a good match here for that pen. What do you think? I like it. I like it! Let's do it. Here we are. I got a little sample from Bauer Inks in Toronto of Muddy Swamp. It's a series of muddy inks. Muddy Swamp, Muddy Water, Muddy Sand, Muddy Shoes, Muddy Heart, 
Muddy Boots, the great blues musician Muddy Waters. So we're going to run the piston back. We're going to put it in the ink. Push the air out through the section. And drop some ink. There we go. These little ink files are so unstable. Putting them in that in that little ink miser makes it a lot easier to handle. My son 3D printed this for me. Wipe off our nib and feed. There we go. Now let's reposition the camera and see if we can write. Okay, and we're back with the Jinhao 51A. And it now has the Delike Medium nib in it. And let's give this a try here. Ink is Robert Oster. Muddy Swamp. 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 <laughs> All right, Jim. <laughs> Swamp. 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 Hey, Swampy. Okay. Wow. Gee, Adriel, thank you very much for suggesting this. I was thinking that Delike might be better, but I'm really enjoying this. That's very, very smooth. I haven't done anything to the nib. It's very wet. And a very smooth nib. Well, that's very nice. I'm really enjoying that. I'm, I'm actually surprised. I thought it was going to write about the same. But that's, uh, that's now writing a lot better than it was before. And that's how quick and easy it is. A nib swap on my Jinhao 51A with a number five Delike nib for the number five Jinhao. Just a little note from Doug's pen corner, Doug's little pen studio, Doug's little pen laboratory. My hair is on fire! My hair is on fire! So again, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and don't forget to ring that bell to get instant notifications when new videos arrive. That just leaves it for me to say, thank you for watching, and that's all she wrote. Ta-da!